Wilcox. <laughs> Give them a hand. They are juicers. That's why they're called the Wheatgrass Band. I can't believe it. It's just amazing. Now, we go back to my favorite country in the world, England. I don't know what the hell's going on in England. These people are out of their minds. So a British zoo found that they put a profanity parrot in. It's a PP. <laughs> profanity parrot into the cage with approximately 100 other birds. Now, when the virus took over and the zoo shut down and all the people were gone, this little parrot schemed and said, we're going to teach all of the other birds profanity. <laughs> and my God, when the zoo started to open up again and people return, can you imagine what the kids felt when they heard all of these words? Blank, 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 blank. This reminds me of something I learned about 40, 50 years ago called the hundredth monkey. And there is the pee pee. Look at that. Look at that. He's so proud to be regurgitating nonsense out of his mouth. He almost looks like Jim over there. Is that true? Even teaching the band to curse? Yeah, I'm an expert. I know it. He probably went over there to England and learned. So here's what we have to do. When we have bad habits, and boy, I have plenty of bad habits, what we have to do is work hard to give peace to our heart and soul. What we really are doing is yelling out and screaming and angry because we're not settled inside. We sort of lost our way. And I guess these birds lost their way. You'd lose your way, too, if they stuck you in a cage. Oh, wait a minute. Sounds sort of familiar, doesn't it? They stuck you in a cage. And how long did they stick you in the cage? And how long have you been watching Netflix reruns? <laughs> and you get pissed off when they have only two seasons. You have to like the only ones for seven seasons and eight seasons. My God, if they ever made a 23-season one, you just sit home all day long. You'd have to give up your work. And so we have been stuck together. And we've been speaking profanity, even if it's quiet to ourself. And it's time to let go of that profanity and start having love and joy and happiness and peace. Now, let me tell you something. Today, we're going to have love, joy, happiness, and peace right here at Hippocrates Late Night. And who we're going to bring in is Deborah Kay. And Deborah Kay, by the way, is fantastic. She created a healthy network. A healthy network. And that network, by the way, is going to bring you positive information and positive knowledge. And that's what we need. Take it away. We're going to be right back. very special speaker mentioned about love. We love you back to health and in doing so we teach you how to love yourself. Mm -hmm. And what was really clear from the beginning, it wasn't just about the cancer. He treated us whole, emotional, physical, spiritual. It was the whole human and that is what really my heart exploded open. It was this space of love. That's the healing. Oh, am I clapping for myself? Of course you are. Why not? <laughs> Deborah, yes. it's so nice to have you here. And we're going to play a game in just a minute. But first, I want to ask you why you left big network TV and created Well World TV. And so tell me what you're doing. Well, Well World TV is a modern online network because honestly, video is the future. In fact, I am so impressed that you guys are doing TV shows and creating video content and you're getting yourself out of this location, this beautiful location in South Beach, and you're reaching the uh -oh, world. Oh, South Florida, we're not in South Beach. Oh, South Beach, let's do that again. <laughs> <laughs> well, on South Beach, I'd be wearing a Speedo and you wouldn't want that to happen. <laughs> 
Well, we're going to see what a good imagination you have, and we're going to tell the listeners all over the world, card number one, card number two, and there's sparkly, you know, this is hip stuff, this is the 21st century, and you're going to write down one true thing that happened to you, and one lie, okay. and then... I'm going to take 60 seconds to figure out which is a lie, which is the truth, okay. and I'm going to do the same. Perfect. But we need some romantic, exotic flute music when we're doing this. So here, I'll give you a pen, and off we go. So tell the true story and make one up. Gotcha. Listen to that beautiful music. You doing well? I'm doing good. Doesn't look it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's keep going. Let's see who's going to win first. Oh, you won. <laughs> All right. So here we go. So pick up card number one. I'm not going to look at yours. And you have 60 seconds to convince me that what you're telling me is true. Okay. And then I'm going to guess if it is or not. Okay. Go ahead. I was invited to speak at the largest East Coast Conference of the Navy and did a presentation in front of all the Master Chiefs and Command Master Chiefs, and my nickname was Wonder Woman. Well, I think that's true because I have a picture of you. Let me show everyone the picture of Wonder Woman there. Because this is the sexiest picture I've ever seen. So that was an easy one for me. Darn it. Look at her. Give her a hand. <laughs> so card number one. At one time, I ate 15 avocados. I think that's very quite possibly true. Oh my God, we're, <laughs> we're actually tied at this point. Can you believe that? In we're, one meal, one sitting? One meal, one sitting. By the way, I couldn't say or write the word avocado <laughs> for several years. How after. did it impact you in test school? Well, it was, it was very slippery. <laughs> we're going to be right back. We're going to go to commercial now, and we're going to have the second group of questions. Incredible today. Uh, all of you are exciting today. What happened to all of you last night? I, I had an extra implant and the rest is mystery. I, I was afraid you were going to say extramarital affair. Oh. <laughs> kind of the same thing in a way. <laughs> That's what some people think. The parents do, I can tell you that. So here we are with a number two question. So go ahead, you go first. In college, 1989, spring break, Daytona Beach. I met Jerry Garcia, 
and we went and partied, I went and partied with the Grateful Dead. Well, I would like that to be true because I like the Grateful Dead, but I say no. <laughs> That's right. Yay! I'm a bad liar. I'm two a to bad two. liar. <laughs> All right, you get ready now. And here we go with the exotic music again because I've got, remember Johnny Carson, he put the thing to his head? I have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> My middle name is Harry. Brian Harry Clemens. BHC. BHC. Mm -hmm. Just like, you know. I would say it's not Harry. Royal voice, two to two. Is it Brian Joseph? So, so because we, no, no, it's Brian Robert. Oh, okay. Yeah. So because both of us are even, I have to get another kiss. Okay. <laughs> now, you're producing a lot of shows on Well World TV. Yes. What is the most important endeavor that you're pursuing at this point? I would say just onboarding content creators, so empowering people that really want to share a positive message and creating a platform that they feel supported and inspired to create that content and get it out there. So right now I have about 18 hosts, what I call a channel hosts, that are starting to up level and really share their message. And so is this the point of going viral? I hope so. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably a little pre-viral, but at some point, there's going to be a tipping point because I'll have enough great content out there that's going to really, uh, hopefully, create a well world. Well, people are happy to be pre-viral because we're certainly not pre-viral at this point. So I'm so happy that you're doing the work you are because the world has transformed. Yes. Uh, we've gone from very stoic ways to get information to multitude ways of getting information. And I think it's time we tame it and bring it back to some sanity. And it seems like that's what you're doing. So if you had the ability to run the world for one day, what would you tell people everywhere on the planet Earth? Look at the camera and let them know. I would tell you to take your energy and become the best version of yourself. Because when you're the best version of yourself, the world will become a better place. So let go of the drama, let go of all the chaos, let go of all the bad news, focus on yourself, evolve, and let's go change the world. That's a great, great, great message. <laughs> so thanks so much. And before we leave, I have to show another picture of Wonder Woman. <laughs> because I'll tell you, that was the greatest picture. Thanks a lot, Thank Deborah, you. for Thank being you. with us today. Thank you. Be well. Good to see you. Till next time.